Hey guys, what's up? My name is Cameron Penner, and welcome to a great new Game Maker series. It's actually technically not new, I've already made two videos. Anyways, in this series, I go through every single one of these drag and drop icons in Game Maker, and I teach you how it works, and I also give you the equivalent in code, and I teach you how to how to code it with letters, rather than with little draggy pictures. Uh, anyways, today we are at the end of the move tab last last actions and I'm gonna teach you how they work and teach you how to code them yourself like a boss so let's let's just step right up <laughs> and get to the steps towards this uh, anyways so the first one is uh, and you put them in the step event if that didn't if that wasn't obvious and what you do is you choose your position I want to step towards point five five at the speed of five. <laughs> five, five, five. Uh, and I want to only stop at solid objects. And so what we can do is we move this guy over here and he's going to start moving over in this direction. And I'm going to put a little wall. And what this is going to do is he's going to step. He's going to try to get there and he's going to... Oh, my next step is illegal because there's a wall there. And he will not step. Uh, and he's trying to right now. But uh, but he, he cannot. Now... Uh, hopefully that makes sense. Oh, and if you say relative, then X will be relative to its current position. Just like this little one up here. Uh, so we're going to go like this, and we're going to see that he will go in this direction. So we run this up, and he will go that way. Now we want him to say, hmm, I want him to avoid stuff, though. So we're going to go to position zero, 0, at the speed of 5. And we want him to avoid solid objects. And our box is solid. Uh, so we're going to go like this, and that'll get a little confusing for him, but we're going to go like that. And we're going to say position, let's check our coordinates here. You can check the coordinates down here. Uh, 350, 32. So we're going to say go to 350, and then Y doesn't really, whatever. Uh, so we, if when we run this, you're going to see our object is going to be, I'm getting, the, oh, and he couldn't, oh, oh my God. That is a wonderful thing. If you didn't know about that, hopefully now your brain is exploding. Um, in a good way. Not literally. That would... Hopefully not. Uh, but anyways, step towards he avoids objects. Which is really cool. Uh, so now that you guys understand, hopefully, how those work, we can get to the code. And the code is right crazy for this stuff. Uh, so, we're going to start with move towards the first one, this guy. I don't, I don't know why I did that, but uh, anyways, MP, which I think stands for motion planning, MP, linear step, we want him to go to 350, 0, at the speed of 5 and we want to say check all objects or only check solid objects so true would mean he would check for any object if you have a little butterfly flying around in your screen that you just want him there for ambience kind of looking uh, then you want this to be false and only check solid objects uh, otherwise if you're the wall you're gonna collide with is not solid then you want to probably say true uh, so we're gonna say false for today and when we run this, he's going to MP linear step up until he gets stuck. But we want him to think ahead. And we want him to not linear step, but we want him to potential step. So if we use MP potential step, open our bracket, type in our parameters, close bracket, semicolon. Uh, we are going to have X position 350. Uh, y position this, step size this, um, and check all is that. So the parameters are actually the same in potential step, but you will see the activity is very different. So he will go and, and he will avoid objects to get there. And this is not perfect. Uh, so I'm, I'm going to give you an example of this not being perfect. Uh, you'd think he would just be like, oh, I can't get there, and then he'll just go around. Uh, but he actually might get all the way around, but I would be surprised if he did. Um, actually, I might not be surprised. If he, yeah, so he just loops. He does this little thing where he loops. 
Um, so that was fun. And, and that's how potential step works. So that, yeah, that's all for today. <laughs> if, if you learned something, that's good. If you enjoyed learning something, you can click the like button. That will help me. And if you would like to enjoy learning more things, then you can click the subscribe button. It is free. Uh, and if one day, if you click the subscribe button, thinking I want more videos from this guy, and you get more videos, and one day you're like, oh, I'm done. Uh, you can you can click unsubscribe, I guess. <laughs> if you want, I'm. Not, <laughs> I wasn't crying there. I, I was I was pretending. Um, I wouldn't. I wouldn't cry about stuff like that. I wouldn't ever cry. Because I'm a man. <laughs> uh, uh, so yeah, that that's the end of my tutorial. Thanks for watching. Uh, see you guys in the next video.